about a subtropical system. News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith explains what this type of storm is. A cold front moved through on Sunday and will stall south in Florida later on this week. This sets the stage for a storm to possibly form. The National Hurricane Center has given an area off of our coast a low chance of development later on in the week. The system looks to be potentially subtropical in nature. Let's talk about what a subtropical storm is. A bare clinic low is driven by temperature differences and features warm and cold fronts. These fronts move warm waste air on the east side of the system and dry and cold air on the west side. Subtropical systems still have two distinct sides, like a traditional low pressure, but with no fronts. The low has a warm, moist air mass on the eastern side of the low, and on the western side, this time, there's just a dry air mass. This is in stark contrast to a tropical low, which is surrounded by warm, moist air on all sides. Subtropical systems are often very lopsided because of this, with their highest winds and strongest rains not near the center of the storm. This week, a stalled front will serve as the location for an area of low pressure to form. The dry air over the southeast right now will likely keep this low disorganized and only keep it subtropical in nature if it gets stronger. As for rain and temperature implications for our forecast, we'll likely get a little bit clearer on that in the coming days. I'm News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith. Mm -hmm.